Hello everybody, I am Luigi Mario 64 and today I'm going to be talking about the worst YouTuber ever. Now I'm sure there's been some debates here and there about who actually is the worst YouTuber ever. According to TechGuy185, it's Nintobi, but personally I have to disagree with him because Nintobi is a better YouTuber than TechGuy185, so... But to be honest, there are a lot of pretty bad YouTubers out there. Honestly, I think I might be one of them just because my content isn't great, and I know that, but you know, I still try to be entertaining for you guys. I've had my fair share of seeing bad content on YouTube, but I've nailed down the perfect person for the title of the worst YouTuber ever. It's Wheezy. He's a YouTuber with around 11k subs, and his usual content is reaction videos, or rather it used to be, and now it seems like it's Fortnite or something. So what it seems to me is this dude can't make up his f***ing mind about what the hell he wants to do with his YouTube channel. And that's already step one to why he is the worst YouTuber ever. If you want to be a YouTuber, you got to decide what you want to do with your channel, at least. Now, it may seem the same way with me, but to be perfectly honest, I don't really have a main theme for my channel. That's why my content seems all over the place. Because I do have specific themes, but I kind of don't really care about how I upload them. So, I know what I like to do with my channel. I like to do gaming, I like to do vlogs, I like to do skits, um, song covers, and all kinds of things. To me, it seems like he's been at this whole YouTube thing for a while, and he's been trying to make it, and it seems like he made money off of it at one point. And, you know, I, I'll give him that. Congratulations, dude. But but he's got all these fans, and he's making this all these reaction videos that he seems satisfied with, and all his fans are satisfied with his reaction videos because they like them. And then, out of the blue, he says, I'm going to quit YouTube. His fans are like, no, easy, don't do it. And personally, I didn't really care. I was like, you know what, dude? You do you, man. You can get the heck off this platform because you are the worst YouTuber ever. And you know what happened at least five days later? An upload from Wheezy saying I'm still here. And then he's pumping up them reaction videos again, still getting crazy amounts of views on his videos. He seems satisfied with his content. His fans are satisfied with the content yet again because he's back to making reaction videos and what that, that's what his fans love. Personally, I think his reaction videos are a little eh. I mean, because for one, who, who, who records reaction videos from the closet? He used to record them from a trailer, it seemed, but... And then he upgraded to a closet, or I guess there'll be a downgrade more, but... He claims it's not a closet or a trailer or whatever, but... Personally, I think that's just a cover-up. Anyway, he's still pumping out these reaction videos, and all of a sudden, another video comes out saying he's gonna quit again. And he seems pretty legit about it this time. It's to repeat itself, though. No, easy, don't do it. Me, I don't care. Go. Bye. We don't need you on this platform anymore. Five days later, I'm back, I'm still making reaction videos. And you know what else? He's lying to his fans. He did this fake series where he was kicked out of his house or whatever. It was so stupid and acting was so bad, like it was so clearly fake, you know. Now, granted, I actually am kicked out of my house and this is real, but I didn't just randomly out of the blue one night uploaded like a 30 second video of me going, Oh guys, you don't understand my life, it's so hard. Hey guys, it's Wheezy. I, uh... I don't know what to do anymore. I'm out here by myself. It's f***ing cold and it's raining and I don't know what to do. And you know what? What in the hell kind of series has three episodes? They were all terrible. Three episodes. And he's also scamming people. He did this freaking prank call series where he was using prank.com and I'm like, who, who, who does that? Now, it would have been funny if he did his own prank calls, but no, he had to go and use prank.com. That's not entertaining. He used the same freaking recording over and over again. Now, granted, he was calling different stores and stuff to get their reaction, but at the same time, it's like, they all had generally the same reaction, so, because it's all the same recording. And the fans, that, that, that didn't entertain me because it was all the same recording. I'm like, dude, give me some other recordings to listen to, to get reactions from. And he did like five of these, and I'm just like, dude, this is getting really boring. He also did this April Fool's thing where he called his work and uh, did some kind of joke or whatever, and I don't really know what happened after that, but personally, I hope he got fired from that job, so. Because Lord knows he ain't making revenue off that crap he makes on his channel, so. 
anyway, I can go on and on for like hours about why Weezy is the worst YouTuber ever because there's like millions and millions of reasons and some of them are hidden within within his YouTube channel and some of them are just pretty obvious by the way he like speaks and and just his personality in general. Now, one of the worst reasons is he likes to make fun of people that are fat and I don't really think that makes a whole lot of sense because, I mean, look at this. Just, ugh. Like, I'm pretty sure that dude eats like six pizzas a day. Two for breakfast, two for lunch, and two for dinner. Or maybe even seven, one for a midnight snack. And have you guys got to look at that face, though? I mean, like, that's the face of a creep. Maybe even a pedophile. Which leads me to my next topic. I think one of the biggest reasons is why he's the worst YouTuber ever is that he, he gets a kick out of watching 15-year-old boys take their shirt off. I don't know what Wheezy does in his spare time, but just, just by that statement, I think we all know what he's doing in the middle of the night, you know? In bed. <laughs> now, I'm sure you're stopping me on my tracks here, because uh, you can go through his channel and see all kinds of things, but trust me, I've seen it all, and I've scanned through this, this channel up and down, which pained me to do in the first place, but I've got all the proof I need. Now, if you look through his channel, you'll see that he supposedly has a fiancé goes by the name of Breezy, and personally, I just think she's a cover-up. And between you and me, I, I've talked to her and I've heard that he ain't letting her get even close to his millimeter Peter. So yes, personally, I do think there's a side to Weezy that we've never seen before. Because like I said before, he obviously records his reaction videos in a closet, but the question is, does he come out? Anyway, there's one last reason. His name. It's Wheezy. What the actual f does that mean? I mean, if I was just casually scrolling through YouTube and I found this his channel rather than one of his videos, I wouldn't click on that. It, it sounds like a, a channel about like how to deal with like asthma or something. And just judging by his name, I think his intro shouldn't be this. It's Wheezy. I think it should be this. It's <coughs> anyway, I think that's all the proof you guys need to realize that It's Wheezy is the worst YouTuber ever, and you should definitely go dislike all of his videos, and definitely not subscribe to him. But you could subscribe to me, because, you know, I'm a much better YouTuber than It's Wheezy. Now, obviously, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, and people are going to be like, oh, Wheezy's a better YouTuber than you. Um, and I'm obviously going to go out of this, oh, he's more subs than you. That doesn't mean he's better than me. Personally, I think he probably just, like, resubscribed to himself a hundred times. Probably, like, has, like, a hundred different accounts, and just subscribed to himself. Actually, no, I think better, yeah, he probably tortured a bunch of 15-year-old boys, made them get shirtless, and had them all go subscribe to his channel. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It's much appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. If you want to see the proof and you want to see how bad Wheezy is in general and you just, you know, you if you want to, like, for whatever reason, just put yourself through absolute hell and just cringe over and over again, I'll, I'll leave his channel link in the description. And honestly, I don't really want to do that, but if you guys want to, just check it out. Anyway, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's in the description as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.